Welcome back, mitochondrians, to the Scott Spot. I'm Officer Scott, and you're watching Parasite Eve. Alright, so last time, day three began with Aya waking up in this dirty, filthy-ass Soho apartment. Maeda and Daniel are waiting for her, and so we went to the pharmacy and a local gun shop and stocked up on supplies. So now, it's time to head out. We're stocked. Come on, get in the car. Agreed. Let's head into the car. Hey, you're supposed to be up in the front with me. I wasn't trying to get in the back, honestly, Daniel. So I guess D uh, Maeda gets to ride, bitch. Well, let me in then, damn it. Alright, this should not be this difficult. What am I doing wrong here? I like how I has like phased through the uh, car door there. There we go. We said I. Uh, yes, let's head out. Road rules don't apply here anymore. We can take the shortest route through Manhattan. That's exciting. All right, where to next? All right. Um, uh, let's see. If we can go to Central Park. I think if you, even if you go to Central Park now, it still looks like it's night there, which is kind of funny. Is, let's check out and see if Carnegie Hall is still blocked off. Not that it really matters, but it's worth checking out. And then we got... Oh, still the same guys here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let's head back to the precinct to take care of some loose ends before we continue the story. Uh, NYPD number 17. I wonder how many precincts are in New York City. Here we are. You got anything new to say, Eddie? Glad the police are still here. On Christmas of all times. Well, technically it's the day after Christmas now. What's the matter with this town? Man, I gotta get out of here. Start up a ranch in the quiet countryside. After this series of incidents, I'm not sure I would necessarily blame you, Eddie. Okay, let's head inside. There's no reason to go anywhere else but downstairs for now. And then we could head to the kennel to see how Ben and Shiva are doing. Are they like cuddled up on the floor? <laughs> Shiva, you're tickling me. You take good care of Ben, Shiva. Oh, how cute. So, nobody's here to watch them? <laughs> Still adorable. I want a German Shepherd. That sounds awesome. Although, I think they were enemies in one of the Tomb Raiders. Could be wrong about that. Alright, but the real reason we came here is to go to the weapons department and do business with Wayne. Now, I think there's an extra scene here, too. You sure bring in a lot of neat stuff. Hey, if you ever see gun trading cards around, bring them here. I'm really into those. Trading cards? Fitting for a simpleton like you. Freaking geezer! Come on now, enough chatting. Back to work. Ah, aren't you in the middle of a case? Now go on. Out of here and catch the idiots. Hopefully without using your gun. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> you want to leave something here? Take any junk? Let me take your junk. It's actually really good for parts. Alright, give him that. So let's give him now. Um, we don't need any of this shit. Obviously. We're probably not going to get another tool in the near future. So I'll just move all of this over. I'm tempted to keep the M11 just so I can show you how machine guns work, but... Eh. Actually, I think I will, actually, now that I think about it. I'll go ahead and equip that and demo it in the next battle. Sort, please. By attack. Okay. And then... Probably don't need two QRPs. And I probably don't need this Medicine 3 right just yet. 
Should have multiple revives now. I definitely don't need three of those. And then I'll hold on to the, another Cure P and a Cure M just in case. Actually, I, I definitely don't need a Cure P because uh, Ionos Detox. And then I'll move this Zoo Key over as well. I think I will keep this Medicine 3 though for the time being. And then Sort. There we go. And we're done. And as usual, this box contains six bullets, as it always does. And really, that's all we came to um, the precinct to do. You can't really find anybody else around that's worth talking to, so... So we'll head back out to the world map. Or the Manhattan map, whatever you want to call it. Um... Uh, So we've got, oh, we let's go to Central Park, because I think there's a cop there we can talk to. And I can just show you guys how it's definitely still not here. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously not. It's kind of funny. There's no sign of Eve, but the animals from the zoo are still on the loose. So... Even though there's a cop here. He's basically telling you that their enemies are still here. And we could actually head in if we wanted to, but what's the point? But it keeps the stupid music that I don't like. I miss the uh, Central Park, the Missing Perspective track. Such a sad day. Out we go. Alright, so let's continue the uh, investigation. Maida was looking for somewhere to conduct some tests. Even though I don't think the game directly told us, we can do that at the museum. But first, a scene. So, where to? Is there any place for the research facility? Research facility? I'd like to conduct an experiment and test something. It might be relevant. How about the facility in the museum where Clamp is at? They had really extensive equipment there. No way, man! Anywhere but there! He should have been evacuated by now. It should be okay. Uh, yes. That sounds good. Daniel, is that okay? I'm expecting a big tip for this. Like what, a kiss? Alrighty. American Museum of Natural History. As opposed to unnatural history. <laughs> or maybe by natural it just means nature. I don't know. So this is the American Museum of Natural History. It's just as I imagined. I can find a research facility in this building. Yeah. Hopefully we won't run into the jerk who runs it. Since he's been evacuated, it should be empty. So, there's not even any security guards for us to go through this time? Is it going to take it? Oh, it took us straight to the lab. Hmm. For a lab and a museum, it does have fairly extensive equipment. So, what do you want to test? Yes, yes. Of course. Let me see. I was able to extract a gel-like substance from Aya's clothing. Oh, from where Eve touched her, probably. Gel? Is it from Eve? Yes. It appears to be a remnant of Eve's cells. Ah, uh, that brings me back to my high school days. At the cellular level, her power cannot be as strong as Aya said previously. Ow! Hey, what are you doing? I just want to conduct this experiment to see whether or not... He must have got a pinprick of his blood or something. Hmm. Yes. Yes. This is exactly as I... It's just as I thought. Go ahead. 
Take a look. What is it? If I had a microscope that could, could tell you what's going on that powerfully, I think I would have enjoyed biology a little more. Your cells are completely surrounded by them. So those little critters were mitochondria. As you can see, the mitochondria, or er, Eve, has taken over the nucleus. In a similar manner, the beast that attacked you probably experienced the same thing. So that's why the creatures mutated. Does the mitochondria really have the power to control the nucleus? No, the normal mitochondria never has such power. But Eve's mitochondria has gone through tremendous evolutionary changes. This is what I think happened to Eve's mitochondria. Normally, mitochondria require oxygen when they generate energy called ATP. So at this time, the mitochondria requests oxygen from the nucleus. Without the energy supply from the mitochondria, the nucleus cannot function. So in essence, the two organelles constantly rely on each other. But in this case, it seems that Eve developed the power to reverse this symbiotic relationship. Evolution, or even mutation, seems likely in this case. Which we've seen. Oh, now we got Eve's opera playing in the background. Reverse the cycle! Look at this. Even with a limited number of cells, her cells have this much power. Can you imagine how much power Eve has within her whole body? That is crazy. Maida. Yes? Could you test my cells? Yes, of course, but... I want to know. I want to know why I have the power to fight her. Yeah, I could see why you would want to know that. I want to know where I stand with her. Aya. Uh, please, Maeda. I need to know why. Yes, of course. Thanks, Maeda. Could you step over here, please? I'll need your arm. Like this? Here. Yes, yes. Ow! Let me just set this up here. I guess we're seeing how Aya's cells will react to Eve's mitochondria. I think you'd better see for yourself. What is it? Is something wrong? The mitochondria tried to take over Aya's nuclei and it fought them off. Do you realize what is happening? Your mitochondria are supplying more energy to the nuclei of your cells. It's almost as if they are protecting the nuclei from Eve's mitochondria. Why does Aya's mitochondria have this kind of power? I don't know. I just... Are you familiar with Richard Dawkins' theory of the selfish gene? In simple terms, it states that genes act in a manner to preserve and ensure survival of the species. Hey man, I don't read those scientific journals. What are you trying to say? Depending on how you look at it, you can say that Eve is trying to destroy all mitochondria except her own. In response to that, 
Aya's mitochondria has developed the power to rebel. Why only Aya's? Shouldn't it be the same for us as well? We should also have that power based on... That seems to follow the natural order of things, but I'm sorry, I don't know why. Oh shit. Professor? What are you doing in my lab? This is breaking and entering! Oh jeez, what is he still doing here? Why haven't you evacuated the city yet? I'm asking why you people are in my lab! We... We're just... We've received orders to evacuate the city. Professor, you really should. I tell you, cops are the one corrupting this fine city! I... I'm sorry. It was my fault, you see. I asked them to bring me here. Who the hell are you? Oh, I... I'm Kunihiko Maeda, and I'm a scientist from Japan. You were using my electronic microscope. I guess you could tell by the slides that are down there. What? What is this? Where did you get this... specimen? You! Where did you get these... cells? Th those are... I don't know. Oh, good boy, Maida. Do you take me for a fool? With cells like these? They must affect the body's natural state. Er, um, uh... Oh, shut up. I'll just ask... Officer Bria. Your cells contain a tremendous amount of energy. How did he know it was her? Do you feel any... Bodily changes. I... You should feel... Somewhat... Hot. No. Speak up, officer. I can't hear you. Have you lost consciousness any time recently? Hey! Hey! What the hell is this? Why's my boy name here? Lorraine! Lorraine's on here too! Clamp! You tell me! You... You tell me what that list is for! Tell me, you hear? Let go of me. I don't have to tell you anything. So it looks like there was a list on Clamp's computer that had Ben's and Lorraine's name on it. What? Daniel, calm down. Daniel! Ooh, he's mad. Get out of here! Sorry to disturb you, but we do have to officially warn you of the evacuation. Please remember that. Officer Bria, do you enjoy having that barbarian for a partner? I was like, fuck you, dude. Oh, uh, uh, no, thank you, uh, bye. <laughs> Awkward as ever. It's too late now. It's too late to do anything now. Huh, I wonder what he meant by that. But I think that is going to have to be where we end this episode. Because it is night now. And I guess we'll see how things play out on the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you for more Parasite Eve next time at the Scott Spot. Later, mitochondrians.